Hi friends, today we are going to learn the 11th style or 11th method to find out or to evaluate the limits, right? So what is the 11th uh, style or you can say the 11th method to find out the limit? Uh, let me write uh, the first uh, what exactly I mean to say here that limit when x tends to 0 1 plus x whole to the power 1 by x is equals to e right this e is a mathematical constant you can say a real constant a real number constant sometimes it is also known as Euler's number also it is also known as Euler number it's a constant whose value is uh, about 2.7182 to eight something like this right it's some Euler number it's a constant right a real number constant it's just like pi you know just like pi it is 22 upon 7 right just like it's a just like pi right it's a constant in mathematics only this much we need we, we need to know here right because rest of this we'll be learning this about in logarithmic exponent chapter now so this is the formula that I want to tell you today this formula that limit x tends to 0 when limit x tends to 0 1 plus x whole to the power 1 upon uh, 1 minus uh, 1 divided by x is equals to e or you can say a Euler number right <coughs> so related to this problem you know uh, this ex uh, standard form we have to learn a lot of problem a lot of problem we have to solve so here is just an example I'm giving uh, right so the problem is here limit when x tends to 0 1 plus 2x whole to the power 1 upon x whole divided by uh, 1 minus 3x right uh, it's like this the whole it is right whole to the power 1 upon x the problem is like this now we have to find out the limit of this 1 plus 2x up divided by 1 minus 3x whole to the power 1 by x so how can we do this right so again you know I, as I told you we have to uh, convert this all into the this is standard form as we used to do in uh, trigon uh, trigonometric functions that we ha we need to convert into the sin x upon x form equals to 1 when limit when x tends to 0 we used to convert all the trigonometric function in this right uh, in this standard form exactly here we have to convert this all into this standard form right so let's start limit when x tends to 0 now what can we do here see 1 plus 2x whole to the power I'm writing 1 upon 2x right I'm writing this myself right because see uh, it is 1 plus 2x is the same thing uh, what I, uh, it was here but I put here there was only 1 upon x but I put here 2 extra so I have to multiply here by 2 also or I am just doing the square of this because when 1 upon 2x will multiply by this 2 and 2 will get the same value 1 upon x that is here right and in downstairs what is uh, oh it's too much curve line right now so in downstairs also I have to do the same thing you know 1 uh, plus minus 3x it is right whole to the power 1 upon minus 3x right again times it was only 1 upon x I put here minus 1 by 3 so I have to uh, I put here minus 3 right so I have to here multiply by minus 3 again right so now see here uh, what exactly I mean to say limit uh, sorry before that you know simply when x tends to 0 you know when x tends to 0 2x will also tends to 0 and of course minus 3x will also tends to 0 because you know here x means not exactly the 0 but almost 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 close very close to 0 it means almost equal equal to the 0 but not exactly the 0 so of course 2x will be also 0 and minus 3x will also be 0 so now what we will get here uh, limit 2x tends to 0 so now I can write like this 1 plus 2x whole to the power 
1 upon 2x square right and you know I'm writing here this e e exactly here e equals to a little bit of time right so now again uh, limit when minus 3x tends to 0 right 1 plus minus 3x whole to the power 1 upon minus 3x times the 3 right again this whole times this 3 this whole times th it's cube right exactly so now I can easily write here in the place of this right it is just exactly like this limit when x tends to 0 1 plus x is equals to the one uh, uh, sorry 1 plus x to the power 1 upon x is equals to e right so exactly here 1 plus x this is x and 1 upon x so when limit x tends to 0 is equals to Euler number so here also it's 2x will work as x here yeah, right uh, I mean to say this 2x will work as x and this 2x again works uh, x here minus 3x is working as x and this minus 3x here also the same or x or x or I can say theta or theta uh, whatever I can say anything any any some uh, variable number right so like this so now what I'm going to write here simply this will be now e to the power 2 and e here to the power it's negative 3 right I, I forget to write it here it is actually negative 3 so what we got negative 3 e to the power 2 plus 3 that is e to the power 5 that is our answer right like this we have to solve this kinds of problem you know uh, just like in trigonometry we used to convert into the sine x upon x standard form here in this type of problem you know uh, generally look like this uh, uh, and we have to convert this into the standard form that is this right limit when x tends to 0 1 plus x whole to the power 1 divided by x is equals to e okay uh, reciprocal of the expression it is here right so in next video we'll be doing a lot uh, some little bit more problem related to the same this is standard formula right so we'll be remaining in the next video bye bye